Hello guys, my name is Mohit Grover. I'm working here at Cisco as a tech engineer in Call Manager team. Today we are going to discuss how to capture packets on Call Manager Express, also known as CME. To start this practical, I need CLI access to the CME. I'll just verify the IP addressing. So the IP address which is assigned to this gigabit ethernet 00 is 10.106.116.75 To start the packet capture, I'll go with IP traffic export profile profile name and the mode is capture Over here, I'll hit bidirectional command This command is optional So if you do not enable this command only incoming traffic is exported. If you enable this command, it exports incoming and outgoing IP traffic on the monitored interface. And also, we can define the length of the packet capture as well using length command. So total three options we are getting here, but in this practical, I'll go with no length. I'll not define any length in byte. As soon as it is done, you can exit out and now we will enable this profile or apply this profile inside the interface. The interface on which we are going to capture packets is gigabit ethernet 00. I'll just go into this interface and now I'll go with IP, traffic, export, apply and the profile name. This is our profile name which is capture underscore profile over here. And the size is seven lines. As soon as I apply this profile under this interface, now I need to start the packet capture. To start the packet capture, what I'll do is I'll just go with traffic export interface interface geek zero zero. First, I'll clear the buffer, which is a recommended practice. And now I'll start the packet capture. As soon as I hit enter, the packet capture has been started. To analyze or you know check whether the packet capture is running or not, what I'll do is I'll just open up a remote session to the remote machine, verify the IP address which is assigned to the remote machine, and the IP address assigned to the remote machine is dot seventy-three. I'll initiate a ping from here, ten one oh six one one six dot seventy-five. Dot 75 is the IP address which is assigned to the CME Geek 00 interface. As soon as I hit enter, we can see the IP address is reachable. And now I'll go ahead and stop the packet capture on the CME. To stop the packet capture, I can just replace it, start with stop and then hit enter. Now, <coughs> packet capture is there in the buffer. I need to transfer it. So to transfer it, you can either transfer it to the SFTP server, FTP server, or you can copy it to the flash. So first I'll just go ahead and replace stop command with the copy and then I'll go with flash xyz dot pcap. xyz is a file name, pcap is the extension, packet capture, flash is the location. I'll just hit enter. We can see here the capture buffer file name is xyz pcap capture buffer copy destination excuse me operation to flash zero may take a while continue confirm yes all right as soon as you press enter you can see here the copying capture buffer to flash zero and the <coughs> transfer of the copy has been done i'll just verify whether the file is there or not i'll just go with flash include dot pcap you can see here the file is there inside the flash memory and now I'll go ahead and transfer the file from the <coughs> buffer to the FTP server directly. So in this case our FTP server is, excuse me, is the server running on the remote machine. So I'll just go ahead, enter the IP address of the FTP server. In this case it is 116.73 and I'll just remove this file name, enter the credentials over here, admin, admin, and then the file name is, you can give any name over here, like 
DAC underscore P, excuse me, DAC dot PCAP. We can see here the file transfer has been done. Let me just open up the FTP folder over here. You can see the folder over here. If I open up this Wireshark packet capture file, you can filter it with the data like ICMP. As soon as you click on apply, you can see here the remote machine IP address from where we initiated the ping ending with dot 73 and the CME IP address ending with dot 75. So guys, this video ends here. If you have any further questions, you can contact me at mogrover at cisco.com. Thank you very much for watching this video.